Hi everyone, it's Paula with Reed and Willow Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a really cute tabletop decor piece for fall. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did. And if you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up. So now we're going to get into our craft. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's get started. We're making a fall shadow box today. So what I've done is I've um, taken the backing out of this shadow box and the backing is made out of fiberboard and I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue Stick and I'm going to smear glue all over for my paper to stick to. I really like the Gorilla Glue Stick. It's, it's, uh, it holds really well. Now we're going to put our paper on and we're going to smooth it out to make sure there's no bubbles. You can see I'm using a Cricut uh, spatula, I think that's what you call it. Or you can use a brayer. And then I'm going to take my craft knife and I am going to cut off any um, paper that's hanging over the edge. Because sometimes even though you trace the paper onto whatever you're gluing to, sometimes it just... Um, you still have some um, paper that hangs over, so I'm just tracing it all, or excuse me, I'm just cutting it all off just to make for a nice clean edge. Now I have a wood round I want to paint, so I'm going to use my Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm just going to take a chip brush and I'm going to put some uh, antique wax on there just to kind of change the color of it. I don't, I don't want this to be the natural color. So I just am going to paint some on, just a little bit, it doesn't have to be a lot. Or you can do it however you want, if you want to completely coat it, you can. Then I took a baby wipe and I'm wiping off all the excess, putting a little more on and wiping it off. You just keep doing that until it's pleasing to your eye, whatever you like and however you like it. You can paint it also if you want to. Then I have this really cute little happy fall uh, sign or wording uh, and I am going to glue that right on to that wood round. And this little sign came from Hobby Lobby and it's so cute because two came unfinished and then two came in the orange color. So I'm gluing that down making sure it's going to stick and then I put um, a little block on the back of that wood round so that it would give this piece some dimension. It'll stand out uh, off the actual uh, backer board. So now we're going to just glue that in. Make sure you get enough glue on there to hold it in. And it might be a little tight um, since you've added paper, but you just push it in. As you can see, I'm just kind of shoving it in there. And now we're going to add some what I would like to say looks like hay. This stuff I do not like at all. It is so stiff and it is so hard to work with. So I decided just to kind of cut it up and try to put it on there the best I could, but it it was terrible. I um I didn't like it at all. So I cut some off just to get started because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. And I'm just going to take my glue gun and glue some of it down and just kind of work from there and just build it up as much as I want. Um, and again, you do this however you want. If you want to use Spanish moss or some other kind of greenery or nothing at all, you do it the way you want to do it. So I just keep going and making sure that it's all stuck down. Now I have these cute, cute little pumpkins. I got these also at Hobby Lobby. And I'm not sure what they're made out of. I think they're resin, but I could be wrong. So I kind of place them down there to see where I want them, what looks good to me. Now we're going to glue those down. And it doesn't take too much glue and you just put them however you want them 
And then I decided, hmm, I need a little bit more hay down there. So back to the hay. And so I just put a little bit more glue down and I just put on some more, just so it looks like the pumpkins are sitting evenly on there. So that looks really cute. I like that so far. I hope you like it too. I love that craft paper. It's just very subtle. Okay, ribbon time. So today we're going to make a messy bow. I love making messy bows because you can just add so much ribbon and just do it however you want. So I think I'm going to probably add, I don't know how much I added, maybe four or five pieces. You just cut them all out at the same length and you use just whatever ribbon you want. You can use all the same ribbon. You can use different ones. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just whatever you like and whatever you feel goes with your project because it is your project. So I'm cutting several different kinds here and now I'm just going to start laying them out and I lay one straight then I do some crisscross and then I lay another one straight I believe yeah and then I think I do another crisscross yeah there I am okay so now we need a piece of twine so we can tie that off and make it into a cute little messy bow so I'm just going to pick it up wrap the twine around it and I'm going to tie it up and I do do a double knot so it'll hold it really well because you don't want your ribbons falling apart and you don't want it loose because those ribbons will work their way out so like I said I'm just going to tie it in a double knot I just think this came out so cute and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time that I upload and if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up I would so appreciate that this craft will be for sale on my website also it will be on my Etsy shop which I will have linked in the description box below so now I'm just cutting off the little tails of that jute and we're going to glue it right on in the corner there. Very cute. And then you can fluff your bow up and make it look really sweet and cute. I really like this. It's adorable. Look at that. Hey, leave me a uh, comment in the description box below. Tell me if you like this. Hey, tell me where you're uh, watching from. I would love to know. And that, my friends, is my happy false shadow box. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.